Hello, this is Paul from QuickAndMobile.com and right here we see that we have a Falcon Power Folding Wheelchair and we have the 250 watt motor right here that we're going to be attaching to the Falcon and of course the fender and just a couple of parts. Now before we go about assembling the motor, great opportunity to just pause the video to learn where to find us online. I know a lot of people find us just on YouTube at the end of other videos. And if this is the first time looking at a quickandmobile.com video, great opportunity just to pause to type quick and mobile into your phone or website browser and see what we have to offer. Okay, that information or that time has passed. Let's take a look at this Falcon. Let's see how we've got it set up. So obviously we're balancing on three wheels right now and we don't want the chair just to drop. So you can kind of see with the front two wheels here, I've turned them out. So I've created a little bit more surface so the chair balances. Easier to balance. Now, this is something that some people can do by themselves. This is something that some people might need assistance doing. I can still kind of get down and sit, so I'm just gonna do it myself. And Let's just take a look at a couple of the parts necessary. So the fender is going to sit basically right on top here. And the actual motor is going to sit on the bottom. So we're going to kind of sandwich the frame in between the two. Now the way to get the fender the right way easily is just this part always faces the chair. And you should have more length below the fender, shorter on top. Now you might be wondering, okay, this creates a little bit more of a, a gap in a space, so let's take a look at how the screws should be. Should have two of these with the spacer. See that spacer right there? So those two go in the front, and then these two don't have the spacer. They go in the back. We have an engine cover, and the Allen wrench that actually comes with the chair, the larger of the two, that fits perfectly. So there's no additional tools necessary. So really all we're gonna do here is let's take a look at the motor. Now this eventually is gonna just plug right into the, to the actual little CPU unit. And I'm just gonna place the motor where I want the motor to be. And I'm going to put the fender here. I'm gonna grab one of these screws. I'm probably gonna go with the, the path of least resistance first. Now I just want to thread this through to the best that I can. So this kind of goes, you see, you see how that goes through right there? Now I can line it up with the motor and just get this started. The first one's going to be the hardest. Okay, so now that I've got this started just a bit, I'll use the, the wrench here to just get a, a couple more turns here. One thing about our videos, we don't kind of serenade you with any music or anything like that. We just show you how it is in real time. It's one thing that we've always really enjoyed, just showing you the process as it occurs. So this is, of course you can see, a little bit of a challenge just to kind of get this in here. So I'm gonna use my knee as support here and I'm gonna find this little ridge. And I think that I've got it. You, know, you could feel like you're at the golf course sometimes. Some people, they do very well at the golf course and they're, they're happy. And some people, they, they miss a couple shots and then you hear uh, words that come out of their mouth that uh, you, you shouldn't be muttering in uh, church. So I try to kind of keep it the, the first rather than the second. So slow and steady kind of wins the race here. So we've, we've got this uh, already started. So no need for any uh, screaming and yelling or anything like that. Just a nice, calm, easy little endeavor here. And we've got the other screw started. So I just want to do the best I can to kind of get these for the most part just started. 
It's going to be a little bit of a tight area to work with. There's really no way around that. But the good thing is, most of the time you're not going to need to change a motor. Why would you want to change a motor? Well, we, we've been at this for quite a while. We've sold a lot of these chairs. Now, they are weather resistant, but anybody who tells you that they have a waterproof chair or a, a waterproof motor, well, they're just plain not being honest with you. Now, that being said, some people have different areas where they're going to store their chairs, and things happen. Sometimes accidents happen. Sometimes a, a, a weather issue will come up. Sometimes chairs get fully submerged. And while that's unfortunate, a lot of the time that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and buy a brand new chair. Sometimes it's just a matter of one motor works, the other motor doesn't. And these things are, are normal, these things are natural. Okay, so I've got these two screws started. Let's go around to the front of the chair here. And let's just kind of get these, these, other, these other two at least started. So before I get too far along in the process, I just want to get this threaded through. And and start the process of kind of getting it uh, into, into the chair. So I'm not gonna really push the motor at this point close enough to the point where I can, I'm not seeing it right now. Okay, that should be started. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I've got that one started. And I'm going to go ahead and get this last one started. Now I'll spare you the details of getting these all completely tightened up because you kind of get the idea at this point. The ones we're here, you know, we've we've really got the hardest part of this whole process behind us. I mean that one actually is tight, so you know, I may as well just go ahead and get this other one tight. And I may as well just show you how the, to really do the rest of the, the rest of the job here. So you've got this little cap. I'm just gonna put this little cap right here. And that kind of closes any spaces up. So what was once a three wheel Falcon is now a four wheel Falcon and we can kind of see some people will probably laugh at this video. They've been a mechanic their whole life or they've been handy their whole life. It's second nature where other people are gonna look at this video and say, well, you know, now, now I know how to do something new. Okay, so that motor's on pretty tight. Now, you can kind of see that this, this other side, it, there's a, a zip tie. You don't necessarily need the zip tie right away, but let's take a look at the motor here. These three connectors where you see the chrome, the shiny part, those go on the top. Those are a little bit bigger in there. So I don't want to force this part. Just want to get those on the top. And I'm just going to screw this in. Now some of these chairs, now we've got the, of course, the in-frame batteries. Some of these chairs have batteries that are actually underneath the chair. So you would have to deal with this every time you took a battery in and out, but this is just the CPU, so it just resolves that issue right there. And look at that. That chair moves wonderfully. We can put that in locked mode. Of course, the Falcon reclines. We've made a lot of other videos about that. You could go ahead and subscribe to our, our channel and check that out. And one more thing that I want to show you I mentioned that the batteries are the in-frame batteries. Just makes it so much more simple to have a device that I can use very quickly, very easily. So this is Paul from Quick and Mobile. I really appreciate watching. If you did not know how to change a Falcon, an Eagle, or an Electra 7 motor before, now you do.